All right, guys, skincare haul. Um, all of the makeup I have on will be linked below or listed below, one or the other. Anyway, so I have some hauls, skincare mostly, and we have Dr. Zenovia, some good molecules, and Beauty Pie. And you guys are always asking for more skincare videos, so I will do that. This is something that showed up at my doorstep and it's from Dr. Zenovia. I have never really heard of this. So, and there wasn't really much uh, information that was sent along. It just like showed up at my, actually it showed up at my house. I'm really confused by how they got my address, which that's, I guess, neither here nor there, but I've been really liking uh, what was sent. So this is the vitamin C brightening toner, tackles tone texture, unclogging pores. So. Okay, well first we'll talk about this packaging. Like, this is glass, okay, coated, and then you have a pump. Everything is extremely like simple and sturdy, but also, but also, um, sorry, the camera cut out. It's also very like expensive feeling, so it's like clinical luxe. Can we make that like? A category of skincare it's really nice so the, but the problem is I'm pretty sure if I were to drop this it will completely shatter um, so I've been using this during the day and at night I've been using the Obagi retinol that I've shared with you in previous in a previous video videos uh, I really like this so I've only used it for a few weeks but I can already I mean I really like it I think without fail if you do a vitamin C during the day and, and retinol at night you will generally have Pretty good skin if you have no no other issues to tackle the other thing that was sent over is this clear complexion 5% benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment it has bakuchil bakuchil how do you pronounce this this is like one of those like retinol alternatives right that's very hot right now it is a spot treatment so unfortunately this has arrived after I have treated all of my mask knee I had like two or three situations here i had two situations here a situation here a situation here and a situation here they are all gone now and i'm just treating the hyperpigmentation which is where this vitamin c comes in for daily use but when i do get a, an outbreak of some sort i will let you know if this is any good this is again made of that glass packaging with like a pump and i love benzoyl peroxide i just i love it it is what i look for in products when i am trying to treat like a breakout or like even if it's like sometimes you get like a patch of like stuff like bumps and you're like oh, what do i do i typically reach for a benzoyl peroxide okay yeah we'll just get all the pr out of the way which is just two things so from good molecules they have been sending me stuff pretty regularly which i'm excited about because i love their products so i mentioned this earlier but they now list the ingredients and the concentration which is very important and very transparent and i don't know that other brands are doing this so they sent over this rose water daily cleansing gel i am not a cleanser person you guys have noticed when i talk about skincare i talk about cleansing water and then i will usually just jump in the shower and use whatever so the only two cleansers that i use are the is clinical cleansing complex which i absolutely love and then the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. So these are two things I keep in my shower. And I, whenever I use those, I will typically mix in some kind of microdermabrasion type scrub. And right now it's the Lancer. I really love this. This is like a huge one that I probably got from Sephora at some point when they were doing a promotion. And I also have the one from Beauty Pie. I haven't used it yet. It's called the Wonder Scrub. So I'll probably try that next, but this is going to take me forever to get through. Another thing I keep in there as far as exfoliation is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I love this. I buy this whenever it's on sale. And when I use this, I use only this. Obviously, you do not need to mix this with anything. It is very potent. But all that to say that this one I have kept in my shower too. This is a very heavy glass bottle, so it will shatter. It is not made for travel, but maybe at some point they'll come out with something. Because I know they came out with like a travel size of the cleansing balm, which is very exciting. I like need to drink some water okay so this i will mix with this and it's so nice it's very it like does what i want it to do i haven't really used this on its own yet i typically have already cleansed my face before i got into the shower and i will then 
mix in a cleanser to hold some kind of very strong scrub. Lastly, we have Beauty Pie. And I am subscribed, I have an annual membership, so I don't necessarily purchase every month because it just rolls over. I will leave some sort of information regarding Beauty Pie and how the whole thing works because I, it's kind of confusing, but also it makes sense once you are like buying. The first thing I got was the Japan Fusion Rich Supreme Cream. It's the step three. I talked about this earlier when I had first started talking about Beauty Pie to you guys. This is completely, I mean, I probably have like maybe two uses in there, but I completely went through this. So I picked up another one. This is the empty, this is the new one. So I'm really excited to have this back. I never had like a pause. It wasn't like I never not had this, but having it makes me happy. So the true test will be whether or not this gets me through winter. So from spring to summer, I use this almost on a daily basis and I brought it up under my eyes as my eye cream, which I never do. So now that it's we're moving into winter, I'm curious if this will still be as moisturizing for my under eyes. My thinking is no, because the weather has already started to change and I've noticed that I tend to want a lot more under there. I mean, maybe I will double layer this up, but we will see. I also picked up this Super Drops Matrixel Morph... Oh God, look. Anyway, Flash Facelift. The reviews on this were like, it looks like I got a facelift. So I'm just like, okay, I'm focusing it on my under eyes because that's really where I have fine lines and one very long line that I'm, I'm like, I wonder if I can even get rid of that. I cannot let it get deeper. That is where we're going to be like new facing it to death. Okay. Yeah, so I haven't really use this consistently enough to tell you anything about it, but I have high hopes. This is a repurchase as well. This is their foundation blending sponges. These are really good. My issue with the beauty blenders, especially the original, those pink ones, they release so much pigment when you are like washing them or cleansing them. I'm like, are you serious? There's like this much dye in there that's coming out? Uh, no. So, I have been using maybe a nude one for a while, but then these come in a double pack, so I would prefer these. These are really, really good. I have a few makeup items from Beauty Pie, and I'm not particularly impressed with a lot of the... I'm not not impressed, it's just I don't... I don't know, I'm just not as interested in their makeup. Okay, so the first thing is this All in Wonder Illuminating Primer, and it's like a skin tone color, or like maybe a light to medium skin tone color. And a lot of the reviews said that they just wore this by itself without any other product. And I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe I can mix this in. The problem for me with anything that's illuminating is that my skin is naturally very luminous. And when I do this, it just makes it worse as in like too shiny. So it feels really pretty. I don't know if it will blur my pores because it's so kind of glowy. If I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup, it's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Liquid Primer. If I apply that to my entire face, I could go without foundation. Um, it is so beautiful. It just blurs everything. Okay, so the next thing I have is a cream blush. This is a new product from them. I, it's the Super Cheek. I have it in the shade Fresh Faced. So let me do a swatch. This is really pretty. I've used this a few times and I like it. It's a matte shade, so it looks, it's like a cream to powder. So there's a swatch of that. Okay, lastly, I have one of these lipsticks from You Sex, from You Sexy Thing. <laughs> That's who I got it from. Uh, it's a something Lux lipstick, I believe. Future Lipstick Lux Shine. I have it in the shade You Sexy Thing. They smell exactly like MAC lipsticks, like identical. But I don't find them particularly smooth. I tried it on and I was kind of like, maybe it's like not for me. Although I will say MAC lipsticks are a little finicky for me anyway. So if this is mimicking the MAC formula, um, then that would probably explain a lot. Like I think it can look good, but I have to like work at it to make it look really good let me try applying some on top of this gloss it'll probably be fine now because 
I have this gloss on, but if I just go straight in with this, I don't like it. She looks really pretty with this whole look though right yeah all right so that was kind of skincare haul and some skincare routine sharing with you uh, i hope you enjoyed it i i'm not really sure what else you guys want as far as skincare goes uh my i know skincare routine is quite commonly requested i really change out stuff a lot it's difficult for me to like if i were to upload a video on my skincare within like two or three weeks it'll probably change unless I like literally made this channel like entirely skincare focused I don't know I I don't know I feel like this is a topic for a different video I just I'm not really sure what I want to do with this channel sometimes because I like so many things makeup skincare food I just I'm like and you don't want to like talk about things that people don't care about like if you're here for skincare and makeup and i talk about food and you're like mm. or if i'm obviously a lot of you guys probably are not here for me to talk about chinese dramas and i feel like i've been talking about that a lot too but it's just kind of what i've been into and i feel like that's i want to share with you what i'm truly loving right and what i'm truly into so i've just kind of been taking that approach as far as what i talk about here so yeah, I don't know. Tangent. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.